<laughs> so the keen eyed of you would have noticed that when I land, I'm landing on the ball or balls of my feet. Okay, so that's just behind the toes. Um, that's exactly where you want to be landing every single time. That's the main contact point with the wall or the landing point. Um, and you're landing plural, so balls of the feet. However, it should be noticed that even though you're landing across all of the balls of the feet, that the popular consensus is that most people jump uh, aiming for the ball of the foot behind the big toe. So that's sort of the bit that most people are aiming for when they're landing. That's the bit that they try to make contact with when they land. Now, why do we do this? The main point is that landing on the balls of the feet contracts the muscle chains up your body. So you're not landing on bone or tendons or anything like that. The, the part that you're landing on triggers all the muscles up your body. A good example of this is if you take your fist and you squeeze really hard, your hand is gonna get really, really tight. But after a few seconds, your forearm will start getting engaged. And then you'll start feeling your bicep and if you just keep squeezing as hard as you can, your shoulder will start getting engaged, then your chest, and then you'll start wanting to contract your abs, and then maybe your glutes and your quads, and so on. And so you can see that the chain carries on all the way down. The same is true for contracting your toes and landing on the ball of the foot. It means that your calves and your quads and your hamstrings and your glutes are all gonna get involved with the landing point. So that's predominantly why we land on the ball of the foot. It also means, yeah, you're not going to be damaging anything. Now, you could land on the arches, but it's not a good idea. Most people who start off uh, sort of tend to aim for that. And it's because the control and accuracy isn't there yet. And you're just trying to get your foot onto it. So uh, people tend to kind of aim for that arch. And it's not a good idea because effectively it's raised for a reason. It's, um, it's like a spring-loaded mechanism and it's protecting itself off of the ground. So you really don't want to be hitting that because you're going to be hitting bone and muscle and things that aren't really protected. So kind of keep away from the arches. Even if you land sort of on the ball of the foot, sometimes you see people landing a ball on the foot and sometimes you just can't help it and you'll kind of slip into going into the middle of the foot. Um, especially if you're landing on rails, it's, it's quite difficult to just land on the ball of the foot, but uh, we try to uh, stay away from that. The other thing that you could do is landing on the heel. And um, again, that's probably the worst idea. The reason being that you're going to be landing purely on bone and you're going to be landing through your joints. So if, if you try just to put your legs, lock your legs straight and toes off the ground and jump onto your heels, then effectively you are going to feel what it feels like to land on the wall on your heels. It's not going to be good and you're going to put shock waves through your knees or all your joints, your knees, your hips, your spine, your lower back, everything. So try to keep away from the heels. So yeah, that's really all that needs to be said. Balls of the feet, aiming for the, the major ball of the foot behind the big toe. Um, stay off the heels and stay off the arches.